Ever pondered about the ethics of your diet? Ever considered if your plate of food could be a matter of morality? In the grand scheme of life, we often overlook the significance of our daily dietary choices. They seem so mundane, so routine, don't they? But what if I told you that every morsel you consume, every food choice you make, could be a statement of your ethical stance? Intriguing, isn't it? Welcome to the fascinating world of ethical veganism, a concept that transcends the boundaries of mere dietary preferences and ventures into the realm of morality and empathy. Ethical veganism is not just about what's on your plate, but also about the journey that food undertook to get there. It's about acknowledging and considering the ethical implications that stem from our food choices. Now, you might be thinking, how can my love for cheeseburgers or omelettes be an ethical issue? Well, that's precisely the question we're here to explore. Ethical veganism challenges us to question the morality of using animals for our dietary needs. It pushes us to consider the suffering and exploitation that animals might endure for the sake of our taste buds. But don't worry, this is not about pointing fingers or inducing guilt. It's about fostering an open conversation, a dialogue, where we can freely discuss, debate, and question the ethics of our dietary choices. It's about informing ourselves and making conscious decisions based on that knowledge. You see, the food we eat is not just about sustenance or pleasure. It's a reflection of our values, our beliefs, and our understanding of the world. It's a statement, a vote, a voice that can either endorse cruelty or advocate compassion. So, are you ready to embark on this enlightening journey? Ready to question, to learn, and perhaps to change? Whether you're a steak lover, a vegetarian, or a vegan, this exploration of ethical veganism promises to be intriguing and thought-provoking. So, let's dive into the world of ethical veganism and explore its arguments, for and against. Imagine a plate full of vibrant, fresh vegetables, grains, and fruits. This is the vegan plate, a cornucopia of nature's bounty, bursting with color and flavor. The vegan diet, contrary to some misconceptions, is not about restriction, but about exploration. It's a journey through the vast landscape of plant-based foods, a world teeming with variety and richness. Picture this, a breakfast of creamy avocado toast sprinkled with seeds, a lunch of hearty lentil soup and quinoa salad, and a dinner of mushroom risotto or stuffed bell peppers. And let's not forget the myriad of snacks and desserts, from crunchy kale chips to decadent chocolate avocado mousse. The vegan plate is a celebration of the diversity that nature offers. A testament to the fact that we don't need to harm other beings to nourish ourselves. But it's not just about the taste. The vegan plate is a powerhouse of nutrition. The fruits and vegetables provide an array of vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. The whole grains offer complex carbohydrates and fibers. And the legumes and nuts deliver quality proteins and healthy fats. It's a balanced, wholesome diet that supports optimal health. Moreover, research has shown that a plant-based diet can help prevent and manage various health conditions. It's linked to lower risk of heart disease, diabetes, obesity, high blood pressure, and certain types of cancer. It's also associated with longer life expectancy. Of course, it's important to plan and balance your vegan diet properly to ensure you're getting all the necessary nutrients. But with the right knowledge and a little creativity, it's entirely possible to thrive on a vegan diet. The vegan plate is about making conscious choices, about embracing compassion and respect for all life. It's about realizing that our food choices have far-reaching impacts, not just on our health, but also on the environment and the animals. So the next time you look at your plate, think about the story it tells. Is it a story of harm or of harmony, of depletion or of regeneration? A vegan plate is not just about what's missing, but also about what's present. Ethical veganism, it's not just about diet, it's a lifestyle. So what exactly does it mean to be an ethical vegan? Well, while dietary vegans avoid consuming animal products for health or dietary reasons, ethical vegans take a step further. They adopt a lifestyle that seeks to exclude, as far as possible and practicable, all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing or any other purpose. This includes everything from the food they eat, the clothes they wear, the cosmetics they use, and even the entertainment they choose. Why would someone choose to live this way? It comes down to two main reasons, animal rights and environmental sustainability. Firstly, 
let's talk about animal rights. Ethical vegans believe that all creatures have a right to life and freedom. They oppose ending a conscious being's life to consume its flesh, drink its milk, or wear its skin, especially because alternatives are available. They argue that in the modern world we no longer need to rely on animals for survival. We've advanced beyond that, and so they choose to live in a way that causes the least harm to other living beings. Now, on to environmental sustainability. The meat and dairy industry is a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation and water pollution. By choosing to forego animal products, ethical vegans aim to reduce the environmental impact of their lifestyle. They see their choices as a way to combat climate change, promote biodiversity, and support a sustainable future for our planet. It's important to note that ethical veganism isn't about being perfect. It's about making choices that align with one's values and doing the best one can within one's means. It's a journey, not a destination, and it's a journey that's unique to each individual. Ethical veganism therefore extends beyond the plate, reaching into every aspect of life. Why should we consider ethical veganism? What makes it a compelling choice? First and foremost, ethical veganism is a stand against animal cruelty. The reality of the animal agriculture industry is often hidden behind marketing gimmicks of happy cows and free-range chickens. The truth, however, is that billions of animals are subjected to brutal conditions and inhumane treatment for the sake of our food supply. Ethical veganism rejects this exploitation and argues for a more compassionate approach to our fellow beings. Secondly, let's talk about the environment. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization states that animal agriculture is responsible for nearly a fifth of global greenhouse gas emissions. That's more than all the cars, planes and ships in the world combined. It's also a leading cause of deforestation, water pollution and biodiversity loss. By choosing plant-based foods, ethical vegans are taking a stance against this environmental degradation. Finally, we can't ignore the health benefits. A well-balanced vegan diet is rich in fiber, vitamins, and antioxidants, while being low in saturated fats and cholesterol. Numerous studies have shown that vegans tend to have lower blood pressure, lower cholesterol levels, and a decreased risk of heart disease. Moreover, the World Health Organization classifies processed meats as carcinogenic, something you avoid entirely with a vegan diet. That said, it's vital to remember that veganism is not a magic bullet for health. It's entirely possible to be a junk food vegan, just as it's possible to have a healthy omnivorous diet. The point is that a well-planned vegan diet can provide all the nutrients your body needs without the health risks associated with animal products. The case for ethical veganism thus centers around compassion, sustainability, and well-being. It's about making choices that align with our values, that respect all life, and that contribute to a healthier planet for future generations. It's not just about what we eat, but about the kind of world we want to live in. However, not everyone agrees. What are the arguments against ethical veganism? Let's take a step back and examine the other side of the coin. The first argument against ethical veganism is tied to health. Some critics argue that a vegan diet can lead to nutrient deficiencies, particularly in vitamins such as B12, which is primarily found in animal products. They claim that these deficiencies can lead to serious health problems over time. And while supplements are available, they argue that it's not a foolproof solution. There's also an economic aspect to consider. Many farmers around the world depend on animal agriculture for their livelihoods. If the world were to transition to a vegan diet, the impact on these communities could be substantial, leading to job loss and economic hardship. Critics argue that ethical veganism fails to consider these potential socio-economic consequences. Lastly, there's the issue of cultural traditions. Throughout history and around the globe, food has played a central role in cultural identity and traditions. Many of these traditions involve the consumption of animal products. Critics argue that ethical veganism, in its call to abstain from all animal products, disregards these deep-rooted cultural practices. They see it as a form of cultural erasure, disrespecting and undermining millennia of culinary and cultural heritage. In summary, the opposition to ethical veganism is multifaceted. It's not just about personal dietary choices, but also about larger issues like health, economy, and cultural preservation. 
It's important to remember that these arguments don't necessarily negate the ethical considerations of veganism, but they do add layers of complexity to the discussion. The opposition to ethical veganism, therefore, stems from concerns about health, economy, and heritage. Is there a middle ground? Can we balance ethics and practicality in our diets? These are the questions that may cross your mind in the quest for a more ethical way of eating. And indeed, there are numerous approaches that offer a balance between the two. One such approach is flexitarianism, a term coined to describe a diet that is primarily vegetarian but occasionally includes meat or fish. This concept recognizes that while some people may not be ready to fully commit to a vegan or vegetarian lifestyle, they are still willing to reduce their meat consumption for ethical, environmental, or health reasons. Flexitarianism is a kind of bridge, a compromise that allows individuals to tread lightly on the earth without making a drastic lifestyle change. It's about making conscious choices, understanding that every meal is an opportunity to do good for our bodies, the environment, and the animals. Another middle ground approach is the concept of reducitarianism. As the name suggests, the goal here is to simply reduce the amount of animal products in one's diet. The focus is less on eliminating animal products entirely and more on reducing demand for them, thereby decreasing the strain on our planet and the suffering of animals. Then there's the vegan before six approach, where individuals eat a vegan diet until six in the evening, after which they may consume animal products. This approach allows for the health benefits and ethical considerations of a vegan diet, while also offering flexibility for social dinners and cravings. While these approaches might not be as stringent as ethical veganism, they do provide a stepping stone for those who want to make a change, but aren't quite ready to fully commit. They also recognize that perfection is not the goal, but rather progress and conscious effort. So, whether you choose to be a flexitarian, a reducitarian, or follow the vegan before six approach, remember that every little step counts. It's about making choices that align with your personal values and your practical needs. Finding a balance then might be the key to reconciling ethics and practicality in our diets. How can we make ethical choices in our everyday lives? How can we align our diets with our values? These are the questions that often loom large when considering a shift towards ethical veganism the answers, though, can be found in the daily choices we make, the products we choose, and the practices we support. Firstly, we can start by choosing cruelty-free products. This means opting for items that have not been tested on animals or do not involve any form of animal exploitation. From cosmetics to cleaning products, there's a wide range of cruelty-free alternatives out there. By making these choices, we're sending a clear message to industries that we value compassion over convenience. Secondly, we can reduce waste in our daily lives. This involves not just reducing food waste, but also minimizing the use of single-use plastics and other non-biodegradable materials. By adopting a zero-waste mindset, we can significantly minimize our ecological footprint, contributing to a healthier planet for all inhabitants. Moreover, we can support sustainable farming, this means opting for produce from local organic farms that prioritize biodiversity and soil health over mass production. By doing so, we're not just ensuring that our food is free from harmful pesticides and GMOs, but we're also supporting local economies and promoting a more sustainable food system. Finally, we can educate ourselves and stay informed. Knowledge, they say, is power. By staying informed about the ethical implications of our food choices, we can make decisions that align with our values. From reading labels to understanding the impact of various farming practices, information is a powerful tool in making ethical choices. So ethical choices aren't about perfection. They're about making the best possible choices within our individual circumstances and striving to do better when we know better. They involve a shift in perspective from seeing ourselves as mere consumers to seeing ourselves as conscious participants in a global ecosystem. Making ethical choices then involves mindful consumption and informed decision-making. It's about making choices that reflect our values and striving to make a positive impact, one small decision at a time. So, how does one embark on the journey towards ethical veganism? Well, just like any significant lifestyle change, 
Transitioning to ethical veganism is a process. It's a journey, not a sprint. It's important to take it one step at a time to make it sustainable and manageable. Firstly, education is key. Understanding the ethical, environmental and health implications of our food choices can be a powerful motivator. Read books, watch documentaries, listen to podcasts, and engage in conversations about ethical veganism. Equip yourself with knowledge. Secondly, start to make small changes. Maybe it's deciding to have a meat-free Monday or swapping out dairy milk for a plant-based alternative. These small switches can make a significant difference over time and can help ease you into this new way of life. Next, experiment with vegan recipes. There's a common misconception that vegan food is boring or tasteless, but that's far from the truth. There are countless delicious and nutritious vegan recipes out there, packed with flavors from all around the world. Additionally, remember to be patient with yourself. Change can be challenging, and it's okay to have setbacks. If you have a day where you slip up, don't beat yourself up about it. Tomorrow is a new day, and each meal is a new opportunity to make an ethical choice. It's also beneficial to connect with a community. Whether it's online or in your local area, finding a group of like-minded individuals can provide support, encouragement, and a wealth of shared knowledge. Lastly, remember why you started this journey in the first place. Whether it's for the animals, the planet, or your health, keeping these reasons at the forefront of your mind can help keep you motivated and committed. The journey towards ethical veganism, then, is a gradual process of change and adaptation. It's about making conscious, informed choices that align with your values. It's about creating a lifestyle that not only benefits you, but also the world around you. And remember, every step you take on this journey makes a difference. So take that first step. You've got this. The journey towards ethical veganism, then, is a gradual process of change and adaptation. Now that we've explored the world of ethical veganism, what's the next step? Picture this, a world where each meal becomes an opportunity to align our actions with our values. A world where food is not just about satisfying hunger, but also about making a positive impact on our planet and its inhabitants. Sounds like a dream, doesn't it? But it can be our reality, one plate at a time. Let's start with small steps. Consider exploring vegan recipes once a week. You'd be surprised at the variety and creativity that goes into vegan cooking. From hearty lentil soups to decadent chocolate cakes, the vegan culinary world is as diverse as it is delicious. And who knows, you might just discover your new favorite dish. Next, let's talk about conscious consumption. The next time you're at the supermarket, take a moment to read the labels. Where do the ingredients come from? How are they produced? These questions might seem mundane, but they are the first steps towards making more ethical food choices. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I'm just one person. Can I really make a difference? And the answer is a resounding yes. Remember, every wave starts with a single ripple. Every change begins with a single step, and every revolution starts with a single person daring to do things differently. So I invite you to take that step, to dare to be different, to dare to make a difference. It doesn't have to be a giant leap into a completely vegan lifestyle. It can be as simple as choosing a plant-based meal over a meat-based one, as simple as choosing compassion over convenience. Remember, being an ethical vegan is not just about what you eat, it's about who you are. It's about standing up for what you believe in. It's about making a conscious decision every day to live in harmony with our planet and its inhabitants. The choice is yours. Explore veganism. Make a difference one plate at a time. Until next time, subscribe for more health and wellness tips.